News 3 following through on the issue of unclaimed property in Virginia. This is something our News 3 investigates team has been looking into for months because some believe Virginia could be doing more to return money that is rightfully yours. Do we have your attention yet? Investigative reporter Margaret Cavanaugh follows through on how the $2 billion of unclaimed property in Virginia is handled. <laughs> Very frustrated. Bill Womble was frustrated after waiting months trying to get answers about his deceased mother's unclaimed property. That's why I called and asked to contact you so I could see if I could get some help. We'll get back to Bill's case in a bit, but leaders with Virginia's unclaimed property previously told us there was $2 billion in unclaimed property in Virginia, mostly money. It could be old utility deposits, stocks, bond dividends, insurance proceeds, and even in very rare cases, physical property property that we got a look at. The WTKR News 3 investigative team has been asking questions for months about how the system works. The biggest change first and foremost is in August of 2022, we implemented a new unclaimed property management program, which really revitalized and uh, updated our, our, our program to make it easier not only to collect property coming in, but also to have uh, citizens of Virginia and really countrywide who have lived in Virginia to claim their property online through electronic means. Uh, and also uh, to get a check faster. Virginia's director of unclaimed property, Bradley Earl, invited us to Richmond for a behind the scenes look at the operation in April. He says national attention and social media have increased awareness about unclaimed property and driven people to file claims, causing some backlogs. He said this year they have set a record in paying out over $83 million while surpassing over 70,000 claims for the second year in a row. They implemented a fast track system that works to expedite the claim process, but not everybody's impressed with their system. The mission of the program is to return money. And right now it appears to me that Virginia is doing a poor job of returning unclaimed money. Connecticut resident Ron Litzy, who's been described as a national unclaimed property watchdog, says more people should be getting their money back. How is it possible that my state has hundreds of millions of dollars in unclaimed money? Um, since when do people not want their money? It doesn't make a lot of sense. He says he finds fault with the amount that's returned to people in green compared to the amount in red, which is collected over the last few years. States like to talk about how much money they return, but that's only half the story. Uh, they should say, what percentage they're returning. And to get money returned in the state of Virginia, you must file a claim, but not in some other states like Louisiana, Illinois, Wisconsin, and Oregon. If it's under a certain amount, the state will send you a check without having to file a claim. Leaders in Oregon say this has made their system more efficient. There's no need for us to um, um, to work manually claims that can be approved automatically uh, so that our staff can really focus on those complicated claims that truly need a manual review. I asked why we don't do this in Virginia. I've had conversations with states that do do this, so it's not that it's not on our radar. Uh, we're just not there yet to make those um, to take those steps to just start sending checks out to people. He says there's also safety concerns like people thinking it's a scam or the money getting in the wrong hands. We just don't want to send checks out. They might be that person might be at the wrong address. Um, someone else who, you know, obviously they didn't do anything to file that check might grab that check and, and cash it. Uh, unbeknownst to the actual owner, uh, there are a lot of risk factors that I'm concerned with. He says there are risk factors in showing the exact amount people are owed. On Virginia Treasury website, you can see if you're owed between zero and fifty dollars, between fifty and a hundred dollars, or over a hundred, leaving many people like Bill Womble wondering how much the Department of Treasury has that's theirs. Very curious to know. I mean, a hundred dollars would be nice, but it could be a thousand, two thousand. I have no idea what it is. To help reunite owners with money, states like Texas and California list a more specific address and the exact amount that's owed. I asked why Virginia doesn't show the exact amount of money that's owed. The purpose behind that is to protect the owner themselves. The same reason why we don't have street addresses on the website. You know, with with uh, access to information being readily available on anyone, really anybody that's out there, it's really easy 
to impersonate someone to come get those funds. Nationally, one in seven people have unclaimed property, but in Virginia, it's one in four, according to a flyer that was sent out in the mail. We asked why more people in Virginia have unclaimed property. Earl responded by saying in part, we hope that every Virginian visits our website to check, and the more that happens, the more we're able to reunite citizens with their money. Their website says right on the main page exactly how much money they've returned, but they don't tell you how much they haven't returned. Previously, we were told that they have about $2 billion in unclaimed property, but we were not given an exact amount when we asked for it. Earl did provide information about the new unclaimed property management program, which includes that fast track system. It's really revitalized and uh, updated our, our, our program to make it easier not only to collect property coming in, but also to have uh, citizens of Virginia and really countrywide who have lived in Virginia to claim their property online through electronic means uh, and also uh, to get a check faster. They also advertised unclaimed property in newspapers, reach out to people who are owed higher dollar amounts, go to community events, work with the media, and say that they've made their website easier and gave it a new name. We updated our domain name from .org to .gov. Uh, again, just to, to add some more confidence to the public that this is a legitimate uh, program. And an improved way to help the public get answers started in June. The biggest thing really is uh, setting up a call center so people can reach an actual person to get some of their questions answered. Obviously, we recognize how important that is. Every year, millions of dollars of unclaimed property go towards the literary fund in the state, which goes towards teacher retirement, technology, and school construction. In 2022, $240 million in unclaimed property was transferred, but some critics have an issue with this system. Imagine that I find your wallet and it has your ID, but I don't return it to you. Instead, I take the money out and I give it to charity. Is that okay? No, it's not. Uh, I just gave away your money. I don't have the right to do that. But under state law, they do have the right to put the money in the state fund. Earl says there is a mistaken belief that the government is trying to keep the money for themselves. And that, that's always a misperception that I would love to I love to continually debunk. He says the state doesn't take possession of the unclaimed money. They're just the custodians of it. If I had unclaimed property turned over here, I would always have that balance of $100 or so. That money, the actual money, though, at some point would be turned over to the literary fund for public general use for the public good. However, that $100 balance is always there to be claimed. He says their main focus is to reunite people with their funds and say they're constantly making improvements. As for Bill Womble, we followed through and within weeks of getting involved, he had a check for $1,900 and thanked us for our help. Do you think we're doing a good job in the state of Virginia? I think we're doing a great job. I'm obviously very biased, but I think we're doing a great job and we continue to get better. If you want to check to see if you're owed money, go to our website at WTKR.com. I put up a link there where you can type your name in and see if the state of Virginia has your money. Margaret Cavanaugh, News 3.